Do you like car detailing? Please subscribe Wheeler Detailers. Hit the bell icon and watch all our videos. So what's up everyone? Thank you very much for tuning in again on the Wheeler Detailers YouTube channel. We've got two detailing episodes left and one is cleaning and detailing the engine bay. That's what we're gonna do today. And in the next episode, we're gonna clean and detail and protect all the interior parts, seats, dash, door panels, everything. Let's open the bonnet. And here we see the BMW straight six. I think it's the B54, B58 engine for all the BMW freaks. So it's the three liter six cylinder. It has a, uh, an upgrade on it with, uh, with some tuning. It now has 400 24 horsepower and 631 newton meters of torque and uh, yeah let's see uh, all the dust here sand particles I'm gonna clean all the plastics up and we've got some uh, watermarks left we're also gonna clean the inside of the bonnets you see some spots here some dirt here on the sides some rests of polish that's not so nice not a compliment but luckily we see this before it goes to the customer. So as we've kind of seen, uh, the engine bay of the Supra is very, very dusted, uh, sand particles, uh, water spots, some um, marks there on the hard plastics. First, we're gonna start with a thorough clean. And for that, I use here the All Clean. This is in a mix bottle and it's one to 10 diluted. And I'm just gonna spray it on all the parts which I can reach. So, I think we've uh, covered all the parts that we could reach. And I'm gonna dip my brush in the bucket of clean water. There's also a grid guard at the bottom, so I can uh, rinse out my bucket. And I'll just start uh, brushing. There's some glue rest on the wiper. I'm also gonna clean that. <coughs> Just using a small uh, Kerger uh, steamer. She normally is being used to release and remove uh, old uh, wall uh, decoration and wallpaper. But it also works beautifully uh, for the engine base. And as you can see, the biggest advantage is it just doesn't get too wet, which is a big, big, big plus. I saw here some uh, glue rests on the wipers, on the left and the right one. And here we've got the glue and label remover. 
It's a really cool product. I don't know if you can see it. Which normally you should spray it on the part and then let it soak in for around one minute and then you can wipe it off easily. Don't want the product to be like everywhere. So I'm now gonna first agitate it on a towel and I'm gonna let it work in for, let's say one minute. And then uh, <laughs> we can wipe it off. And here uh, we have one clean wiper bay. And here we have the glue rests in the fibers of the towel. Let's move on. We can also see the inside of the bonnet is also not that clean, unfortunately. So on the, we see some watermarks and stuff. So we're gonna spray that in with EcoSmart. This is the concentrated version. And then uh, we diluted one to 16. So you purchase them at 16 hours, 473 ml bottles. RS 3.78 liter gallons. And you can multiply that with 16. And then uh, that's the kind of uh, volumes you can get out of this. Let's see how easy this goes. If we see correctly, since the soap has already been drying and the steam wasn't that hard, we see here some rests drying of, uh, of all clean, which is not so beautiful. So we're gonna take a clean towel anyway. And we're gonna wipe it all off with IPA alcohol. Squeaky clean, no soap residue, nothing. Just as we like it. You can see the difference. And then actually, uh, this is also funny. I just only used alcohol, it was already clean. And look what you already see, all the gray and the fibers and all the black, what you all will take off again with just IPA. So now for the plastics, we're also gonna dress them up. And I could do that by spraying everything away, just more or less like in the wild, which I'm not such a big fan about. So I'm gonna, Leave this one here on top. I'm only gonna spray in the bristles of my brush. So with that, I can agitate only the parts that I want to dress up. And then brush it everywhere that you want to have it dressed. Looks a little bit like a mess now, but I promise you it's gonna look better in a few minutes. Let's see how it works. Great. So using my black monster edgeless towel again as a fourfold. And now we see directly the cool thing about Silkshine spray bottle dressing. It's just Im immediately, it's dry, it's not greasy, it doesn't leave any residue. 
no not any like a film kind of layer it's just dry as you want it to be maybe you can swipe it with your finger Jordi and tell the public how nice it uh, this feels very comfortable oh you nice. can you can like glide it all day mm -hmm. cool now and with compressed air we uh, help it to speed up the curing process a little bit or compressed air or the sidekick air blower or the master blaster air blower or with any kind of air blower and then uh, you can get this result much faster and since uh, as detailing the next car is in line already you want to have uh, efficient good result working methods that will work always and uh, this is one of them to offer uh, your customers uh, good service so they come back and are happy with your detailing jobs you do for them wow this looks good this looks really really good if you look at this or to that uh, part there that's not even been uh, touched yet Now let's get the sidekick again. Wow. <laughs> wow, beautiful Yori, really beautiful. Good for what's in the profile? I think so, yeah. yeah. And this in combination with the questions, the tips from Fatima yesterday, yes, 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 this, yes. this weekend is going down. Now let's wipe off all the residue. Good, the <coughs> top plate. <coughs> so, here we go. So, the last parts of the engine there, and I don't know why, but the te texture on top of this plastic part is so extremely rough. I can just not let the towel glide freely. It's very time taking. Looks nice. Very, very, very nice. So we're done. So um, to sum up what we all did uh, on the Supra's engine bay. Uh, first we started with all clean, one to 10 diluted with the best detailing brush. And with that we've released all the stains, the water spots, the debris, oil rests, sand particles, dust. 
and all these loosened dirt particles and oxidation. We steam this off with the small Kerger uh, steamer. I've uh, used four towels, I think. That's correct. These were clean. Maybe uh, show them a little bit more for the camera. So uh, we see all the stains in here. Here as well. Now, and if you use it like a four volt, like this, you always can use eight sides and you use the maximum capacity that's in your towel. Then we wiped down the engine bay, all the plastic parts and the metal parts up front with IPA, 99% IPA, alcohol, um, to prep it so the upcoming dressing in the next step can adhere better and the durability will be much, much better than if you don't do it. And then we've used the Silk Shine sprayable dressing, this one, together with a goat uh, brush. Then we saw a couple of uh, glue rests, some stains on both the wiper arms. Yeah, we've cleaned it up as well. Then when the dressing was on, I uh, used the Metro Blaster Sidekick to, uh, to, to help speed up the drying process of the dressing. And you could have seen that where you per accidentally spilled too much product, you would uh, easily blow that away and divide that again. And then we've wiped it down with a microfiber towel and uh, with the black microfiber towel. Here we go. And, um, and we uh, took all the residue off uh, to give it that nice and dry to the touch, dark, deep black, satin, textured finish. Wow, that's a long scrabble word, Jordi. Um, and then on the inside of the bonnet, we also had some stains there, some rest from polish, some, I don't know, other oxidation. We took uh, EcoSmart there, also the diluted version. We sprayed it on and we wiped it off with another workhorse green microfiber towel to uh, make sure everything is squeaky clean. So let's put this in the bin to get it ready for the wash. Check out the end result. Voila! So uh, everything is clean, everything is prepped, everything is protected with silk shine sprayable dressing. No watermarks, no dust, no oxidation, no dirt. Everything is clean. Also behind the oil filler cap, also between the logos, everything is clean. The wiper arms are clean. The inside of the bonnet is super clean. Yeah, these edges here. That were fully smeared. So this is uh, how uh, one way how you can do an. Uh, wow, this feels good. <laughs> this just feels so good always. This is just one way how to do an engine bay detail job, which is a nice extra for that hardcore car lover that uh, wants all aspects of the car squeaky clean and detailed. Super happy with the result. I'm actually super happy with the car. And in the next video, we will uh, take care of the interior to clean that up as well. To give you some forecast on that, there's enough to do here. Vacuum clean, leather treatment, dash treatment, plastic treatment, protection of all parts. Make it smell good. So, uh, Enough to do in the upcoming uh, episode. So I really hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you got some questions, you can chat with us over the website with the customer service team. You can send some uh, uh, WhatsApp messages as well. You can email to info at chemicalguys.eu. If you got some questions on this topic, engine bay cleaning and detailing and protecting, write it here below. Hope you like the video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.
next video we will uh, take care of the interior to clean that up as well to give you some forecast on that there's enough to do here vacuum clean leather treatments dash treatment plastic treatment protection of all parts